Okay, so tell me, what's going on? We can see this one right over here. Yeah, it's very ingrown and it hurts. <laughs> okay, we'll put this underneath your leg so you can relax that one. Yeah. And let me do this one here. Okay, so- I was afraid to cut it. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid, but obviously I can see the whole side's really bothering you. How long has it been like that? Uh, a couple years, two years. And how, how have you been maintaining that yourself? Um, I've just been trying to clean it. Um, when it gets like that callousy, mm -hmm. I've kind of been taking that off as much as I could. So just trying to stop the skin from really getting bigger and inflamed and all that stuff. Painful so. all the time or just in some shoes? All the time. All the time. All the time. And yeah. it's been like this for years, years, like you said, since you were born, you had always ingrown toenails. Yeah. yeah. But has it been infected like this before with skin? One other time, and that was around a year ago, I got the procedure to remove it. I did the both sides of the toe. Of this toe? Yeah. And that was that. And then a year before that, I did just the inside. Oh my God. And then a year before that, I did this side. So this toe alone has had three procedures. Three on this side, and then two on the other side? Two, two on the inside and one on the other. Oh, two on the, okay. Yeah. And how, and you said you got this done at a hospital? Yeah. Did they do general anesthetic or is it just local, they just numbed your toe? No, just local. They put the needle like in my toe. Yep. They trimmed down the side. Yeah, he actually cut um, like the skin over here to open up the mm -hmm. root. Yep. And then he cut it with the scalpel and took it out and then he stitched it up after. Okay. But I don't think like he killed it with no. any chemical things. So that procedure that they did is where they actually take out and cut out the nail matrix physically. And that's a different procedure where there's no chemical used and they actually physically, like I said, just cut out the yeah. whole nail cells. But the problem with that, if you leave one little cell behind or if you don't take it all out, yes, it can come back. Yeah. And that's why I'm really curious because I can see like the end of the nail, right? Yeah. It kind of looks like it stops, but d when you're checking, do you find like there's a piece? There's more like a couple days ago, I was able to kind of like lift the skin like after I shower when it's all yeah. like, soft still. If you lift it, you'll see like another little portion under there. Like a wider piece. And then I think deeper in, there's another piece of, um, cause when I went back for the second procedure on it, I told the surgeon, I said like, there's another piece of nail growing and he said it's a scar nail. So I think that's what's happening to this, but underneath. Mm -hmm. On this one, the scar nail is just like off to the side. Where is it? Oh, so you have a nail spike. Yeah. Can you show me that piece again? Do you mind? Because I know I can. Yeah. So a little slide, slight piece on the side. Yeah. So does it bother you? It doesn't bother me. It's not painful. Um, I prefer it's not there, but it doesn't bother me. I'm just afraid. If I pull it, the same thing's gonna happen. Okay. So I haven't touched it. So what that is, it's very common to see when we have a regrowth of the nail. So it's not a scar nail, it's an actual nail. Okay. So again, a few pieces of cell, nail cells were left behind. They were allowed to grow, and that's why we have that straight piece growing straight out. Yeah. We can fix that. Okay. But what would have to be done is we'd have to, again, numb the toe. We pull out that little piece. We wouldn't have to really cut any of the nail. We just have to pull out that little spike and then yeah. reapply the acid in that corner to kill those last little nail cells that were left behind. Okay. So that can be fixed. Okay. Um, are you having any problem on this side of the nail? Um, I wasn't until like up to a few days ago because I think it's starting to kind of grow out again. But like I'm so afraid to cut the corner. But like I don't know how deep it actually goes. Mm -hmm. It's just a little sore. It's not like painful to the point where I can't walk. Okay. There's only two ways to treat ingrown toenails. Number one is some sort of conservative treatment. So that's yeah. the way you trim your nails, pedicures, going to see a foot specialist, or you're doing it yourself on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. The problem with that, it's not stopping the nail from growing. So for yeah. some people who have a very wide nail where the nail is growing really curved or it's caught in the skin, we keep getting that problem. And that's where you're pro now. You've already had a few procedures <laughs> where the Permanent procedure should be done to stop that nail from growing. But again, depending on the technique, depending on how it was done, it is possible to have a regrowth. The difference is when the way I do the procedure, 
I use an acid. So I take everything out that I see, I feel around, make sure there's nothing left behind, and then I flood that little hole with that acid to really kill everything left behind. There's always a chance for regrowth, but it's really, really low, less than 4%. And again, with proper technique, it should really reduce that chance from happening. And so this would be something that, again, we try on that side for sure. Yeah. I can check the, this side, yeah. how this one's doing. If that one's really bugging you, if I see a wide piece, we do it at the same time. Yeah. And then if you're up for it, or something we can do in the future, we can actually do that other side, depending on when you like to do it. Okay. Um, I can, is, is that a slight scar here? Is that where they did the cut yeah. down? Yeah. Yeah, my wife had that same procedure in Cuba where they cut down, kind of open it up, yeah. cut out the piece and stitch it up. But again, I find that the chemical version can sometimes do a little bit better because it just yeah. floods the whole area. So if that's something you wanted to do today to remove that little piece, we could, or you save it for the future once this one's healed up so you're not yeah. dealing with both toes. It's all yeah. up to you. Okay, and, so like, you it's not bothering me, so maybe just for now at least, because I gotta go back to work on Monday. Of course, of course. Drive, so. Yeah, of course. So you can always think yeah. about, but at least you know mm -hmm. that if you want that little nail spike out, we can. Mm -hmm. It okay. just has to involve another procedure. Yeah. But it, the healing will be much easier because we don't really have to dig around yeah. or, or poke yeah. around so much. We're just pulling out a little piece and yeah. putting it in the acid, okay? It's easier today. Oh, mom's devil's advocate, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's work. 